everyone and welcome to my channel my name is Angela Bliss and I'm so glad you're here today we are talking about not giving up about a struggling artist about negative comments about why fluid art is not considered art at times we're talking about all of that today not gonna do any painting I've got some artists who are gonna help me we just want you to know that you're seen and that we understand what you're going through who else better to start with than Lisa Marvin Lisa Hi guys, it's Lisa Marvin from Lisa Marvin Art. I've gotten quite a few rude comments. I'll post some after, but I think for me the worst was, especially during COVID, for some reason people thought I was blowing on cakes to decorate them, like a ridiculous amount of people. And at first I thought it was funny, but over the course of the year or two, I was getting a comment almost every day telling me how disgusting I was for blowing on cakes. And it started to kind of affect me a little bit because like, you know, when someone's calling you disgusting for so long, it was a bit much. Luckily, when the germ fears started going away, the cake comments started going away. So I was pretty pleased about that. The only time I really responded to people is when I'm reminding them that they really could hurt someone's feelings because I'm pretty confident in my artistic skills but I know a lot of my colleagues especially those who are just starting to bloom could be a little more sensitive and I would hate for any new uh, artist who's putting themselves out there to be stopped from rude comments so that's the only time I really respond uh, here's a few of the ones I got I hope you enjoy The Britannica defines art as the expression or application of a human creative skill and imagination, typically in a visual form as a painting, a sculpture, or a production of a work that is appreciated primarily for its beauty or emotional power. It evokes emotion. I feel art is a visual object or experience consciously created through an expression of skill or imagination. The term art when referring to visual creations encompasses diverse media such as painting, sculpture, printmaking, drawing, decorative arts, and even photography. Wikipedia defines art as a diverse range of human activity and its resulting product involves creative or imaginative talent, generally expressive or technical proficiency, beauty, emotional power, or conceptual ideas. I feel art is a visual subject or an experience consciously through an expression of a skill and imagination. Art is subjective. It can be because of the feelings and thoughts that it evokes. Or maybe it's just pleasing to the human eye. Now let's talk about fluid art. It may not be art to everyone, but to many, it's art. My favorite part about fluid art is the cells that you can create with different paint brands, different paint densities, different paint viscosities, house paints mixed with acrylic paints mixed with additives. It is so versatile and it's so inclusive all at the same time. Fluid art absolutely requires skill, time, money, effort, long hours and trials, trying over and over and over until you finally get that method right. Once you learn how to block in your design on the canvas, it's like the angel sing, right? It's all art. Most people who don't view fluid art as art don't really know that it was discovered back in the 1930s by an internationally known Mexican painter and muralist. His name is David Alfaro Securus. While he was experimenting with different paints, he kind of saw how they reacted with each other. And then he realized that he could create predictable results by learning and using different methods and techniques over and over. He did inspire one of his students, and I think you know, or may have heard his name, hopefully, Jackson Pollock, to create much of his world-famous works using the methods that were taught to him by Securus. 
Um, throughout history, artists have used scientific methods to create new processes of works of art. Securus chose, among many other methods, fluid dynamics as one of his scientific influences to create what we call fluid art. As fluid artists, we use these techniques and many others that have since been discovered and developed over the years to create some pretty amazing works of art. For the most part, people who haven't taken the time to learn these techniques to the level of predictable reactions and final results have no real idea about the depth of knowledge and skill or how much time and practice goes into creating what we create. They do not realize the level of intent that goes into each piece. We're not just putting paint on the canvas and saying, oh my God, look how pretty, look what I did. There's method, there's technique, there's intent. The people that watch our creation videos don't realize how much goes into it. They're only watching a very small portion of time and not the complete process that it's taken us to get here. And now we're gonna stop to talk to Kim Sherwood about some of her experiences. Kim? What is art? Art can be many different things, but for me, art is something that elicits an emotion, that generates a response, whether positive or negative. And for those of us in the fluid art field, we quite often get comments on our art similar to my five-year-old, could do that or that only took two seconds to do that's not art and here's my take on that there's something that i said and did when i was a teenager that was a very very similar i was in an art gallery and there was this huge canvas and it just had i think there were several of them one was just a square on it another just had like a spray of paint on it and my comment was how is that worth hundreds of thousands of dollars. <laughs> I could do that. The response that I got from my mom has stuck with me ever since. And she said, that may be so, but you didn't do it. And they did. And she followed that up by saying that actually that painting is definitely art because it elicited a response from me. It was something that made me express my feelings towards it and it made me take on a separate kind of thought an aha moment if you will that if a piece of art says something to me whether positive or negative that piece had an impact so to those that do comment by saying oh my five-year-old could have done that oh i could have whipped that up in five seconds one thank you thank you for your comments because it elicited a response from you what my work did was something that you felt compelled to comment on. And for me, that's a win. So whether you like it or not, you commented, you felt strong enough to comment. And I thank you for it. Art is in the eye of the beholder and all of us have different views of art. It would be a pretty boring world if we all felt and saw the same thing, felt exactly the same way. And even worse, if we created things exactly the same. Making art shouldn't be restricted to a certain type of person or group of people. Strictly based on training or expertise. Oh, they went to school at the Art Institute, so they're an artist. Oh, you taught yourself how to paint? I'm sorry, but you're not as good as her. Don't listen to that. You're an artist. It's art. Even if they say it's not art, it's art. They might not want to hang it on their wall but someone does. I'm just so glad that fluid artists have gotten in touch with their creative side, and I can't wait to see what else they bring to us. I can't wait for the masterpieces to be created. I just think we should let people enjoy things. I think every piece of fluid art is unique, and every piece is not a beautiful, oh my God, what an awesome painting to me, and that's okay. But I can't help admire the ones that just get me in here. They have my heart, I'm mesmerized. It's like, wow, that is an amazing piece of art that you created. There's a huge difference between someone who has practiced their art and people who are just figuring it out. I believe fluid artists are in the same boat with any other artist that has honed their skill and their expertise. 
I would never attempt to take away from what anyone does or what they've learned or how they've learned it or let my taste in art define their legitimacy as an artist. They created something that in itself is amazing. Some people find their groove as an artist really quickly. And some of us, it takes a little while for us to get our feet underneath us, but our journey may take a little longer. Don't give up. Regardless, there's gonna be people who love your art and there will be people that don't. Most of those people that are gonna love your art will not be shy and they will yell it from the rooftops. Some of those who don't like it will also tell you they don't like it. They may just offer you a polite critique or they may just tell you what technique they don't like about it or what parts of it they don't like. And sometimes they're rude, mean, and hateful. The cool thing about art is doesn't matter who thinks it's art and who doesn't think it's art. Art is made to elicit emotion and conversation. And in an indirect way, that's really what's happening here. And the amazing thing about art is that it evolves. Almost every art movement that has evolved was in the category of that's not real art. Now it's a popular style. So hang in there. When I hear you say it's easy, all I get from that is just that. I get your, that's not real art. I get your, you're not an original. I know that you're telling me it lacks depth or emotion or meaning. I hear you. Good fluid art is damn hard. Requires a lot of trial and error, a lot of practice, a lot of money for canvas and paints and the dedication to getting it right. Just like any other art form, we feel the dedication and the need to get it right. We're gonna take the time to practice, to spend the money, to spend the time to get it right. And that's the beauty of art, isn't it? With art, there's something for everyone. Buy what you want, create what you want, and let other people do the same. Don't let those people that got rude with you get under your skin. As an artist, that's actually a compliment anyway. You elicited something from them about your art. You're an artist. Keep the faith, don't quit. Keep creating and keep making your art because what you create is art. I want to thank the wonderful artists that gave me their work to be shared. I want to thank Lisa Marvin and Kim Sherwood for going above and beyond and getting me the videos of their experiences. Ladies, thank you so much, I appreciate it. And I just want to tell the struggling artist, the artist that has almost quit, the artist that doesn't think their art is art, and the artist that just doesn't know their place yet, do not stop creating. Do not stop making your art. We all want to see it and we all want you to win. Until next time guys, thank you for being here. I appreciate you so much. Take care.